Hello everyone, Matt here with Veercast, the live streaming platform. Today I've got another tutorial for you, and it's another big one. We've done a lot of upgrades here in the last few months to the platform, bringing you features that uh, a lot of the big boys are bringing you, and I'm happy to bring them to you here. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to kind of go over what we're bringing uh, to the platform now, integrated within our system. So you can see here on the right, uh, on the screen here, we've got Veercast launches live scoreboard integration feature. And this is very similar to a scoreboard you may have used in the past, like a BoxCast scoreboard, where it's built into the player. So you don't need any third-party apps, nothing uh, external uh, to keep scores. This is a manual score, uh, so you're going to keep the score within the platform. You don't need anything additional, and we're trying to make it as easy as possible for beginning broadcasters and professional broadcasters alike to be able to keep scores in their sports streams. So just a basic overview here on our support site that you can see exactly what the scoreboard feature does. It is currently in beta, but um, the functionality is there. We're just looking for more people to use it and give us suggestions so we can continue to add to the scoreboard feature to make it more usable for you. So the very first thing we're going to do, we're going to show you exactly how to use the scoreboard feature within the Veercast platform. If you've watched some of our videos in the past, then you know uh, kind of how to register, how to get involved, uh, how to uh, start your free 14-day trial, which no credit card is required to do so. And it gives you access to the entire platform, everything we offer, whether it's live DVR, whether it's uh, archiving, you can download your streams immediately. Uh, there's so many features that we're offering now that uh, we've really become a viable solution for most people out there that are wanting to stream right away with a click of a few buttons and get going live. And we're going to show you how to do that along with the scoreboard integration here right now. I'm going to switch over to the Veercast streaming platform. And I'll back up to the beginning. So here we are, we're at the Veercast homepage. Now this is the front page if you want to show your Veercast um, streams within our platform. You can choose to not do that, but this is kind of like the default view. Uh, so first what we're going to do is going to go over here to log in. And at this point we're assuming you're already registered to the platform. If you're not, you can uh, register with Google or Facebook. Uh, but in this instance, we're going to log into our uh, demo account here. You'll be brought to a screen. Uh, you have a few options here, channels and pages and clips, assorted images, my account, and scheduler. Um, anytime we're talking about a live stream, we're going to go to the clips section. So that's what we're going to start here today. So just click on clips. You'll see here I've already created a clip, but it's very easy to create a new one if you like. Just hover over this new, select stream live, and you can select which stream that you would like to create. Typically, most people are going to choose the stream live with archive because you get the RTM URL and stream key, you get the automatic VOD, uh, archive, you get the live DVR, adapt to bitrate, countdown clock, simulcasting, and a scoreboard as well. So that's the option most people are going to choose, and that's what I've created here. So I've got it set as scoreboard demo. I'm just going to hit this little pen pencil icon. That'll bring up the properties tab of the scoreboard demo. You see I got my title here. I haven't put anything in the description, but I can. I can just put demo. I've already got a poster uploaded, which I uploaded here in this section. I can put in tags if I'd like. But you're going to see a new feature here um, on the right-hand side called Scoreboard. And that's what we're going to use to keep score during our game or demo or live, live broadcasts in this instance. Um, so we don't really have to go over this. There's other tutorials we have that goes over all the features of the Properties tab. You also have the Live Info tab that shows you what your RTMP a URL and stream key is, and don't worry, uh, I will reset the stream key after this uh, after this recording so that this stream key will not be active. So um, we've, we've also got tutorials on restreaming and simulcasting through YouTube and Facebook if you'd like to stream through Beercast and then also send it to other platforms like YouTube and Facebook. We give you the ability to do that. So let's move on to the scoreboard tab. And you'll see here at the top we've got a new option called scoreboard. This was not available before. Um, this scoreboard tab gives you the build, uh, ability to change things that we're about to go over. So first you're going to start here with type. So this is going to be where you're going to select which sport you're using. Right now we support two sports, basketball and football. We'll be adding sports as time goes and as demand um, requires. Uh, but right now let's just say it's basketball season. So we're going to select basketball. Period format. We can either choose from four quarters or two halves. Um, in this instance, most high school sports around us are four, so we're going to select four. So we can change the team names for each person. So let's say we want to do uh, team one. 
and we can select a color. So this color of this team is a blue. We can say team two is a reddish color. And you can input your own colors if you'd like to. So these are just a selector, but if you have a, an exact color that you know your team is, you can enter that and it will populate the exact color. And then all we have to do is hit Create Scoreboard. Now you'll get a message here that says the scoreboard is ready and will be operative once the stream starts. So you've set your, your team names and your colors and you're ready to go. Um, if you have created this already, and you see you can't edit anything here, but if you go to Edit Teams Info, then you can change it again before the stream starts. So in this instance, we're going to cancel. We've got it set the way we want it. And so now we just need to start our stream in order to be able to show you exactly how the scoreboard works. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go over to my my, VR, my uh, vMix um, in the back end here. I'm going to start streaming. And you'll see here in a few seconds, once the live info shows that it's receiving information from my encoder, it should switch over from idle status to active, and there it goes. So we switch over to active, and now if we go back to the scoreboard, we can see here the scoreboard is now active for us to edit. So right now it's not showing on the stream. So if I were to go and open up this browser, there's my thumbnail I uploaded you'll see that there's no scoreboard showing on the stream that we're playing here. So what we need to do is go back to here and hit active. Activating the scoreboard will automatically within, it just depends on your server, your upload speeds, things like that. But there it goes there on the bottom. You see here we have team one, team two. And so at the bottom there, we're ready to go to start scoring our game. So we have, because we select basketball, the points are three, two, and one. You have first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. And at this point, it's not showing the first quarter below the scoreboard, you can see here, because we have not started our play state. So once the game starts, we're going to want to hit playing. Playing essentially means that the game has started and there is play going on. So let's say team one hits a three-pointer. We hit the three point there. If you go back to the stream, you'll see again, there's a slight delay, but it, it will be matched up with the play whenever you go back. Uh, you'll see soon here that team one will show three points, and there it is. Same things goes for the rest of the points. So five, seven, ten. Team two got two, hit a three pointer, made it five. And so the interesting part about our scoreboard is that we also allow for you to add halftime and final below the scoreboard as well. So in order to do that, let's say the second quarter just ended, we can change the play state from playing to halftime break. So this just tells the system that we are during a halftime. If we go over to the scoreboard here, you can see where I just switched second, and then here shortly it should show half. And there it is. So now that we're done with half, we can return to playing and go to third quarter. And then within a few seconds, you'll see here on the actual live stream itself, it'll change to third quarter. Very simple. Very simple, very easy. Uh, there's really nothing involved in, in adding your scoreboard. Uh, it's just a few clicks of a button to add your team names and colors. And then once you're playing, it's as simple as using the interface. This is also available over mobile interface. So if you wanted to have somebody else doing the score you can do that as well just give them your account login information they can log in and score the game while you're doing the broadcast once the final game uh, has ended you can go to final the scoreboard will reflect final as well once the game has ended and again it just takes a few seconds for that to pop up but it will be accurate to real time in the stream there's final and then that is it. So essentially, we've created a scoreboard within our platform for you to add without any technical knowledge. You don't need any third-party software, nothing. It's all built in within Veercast. We're happy to bring it to you. And I would love suggestions. So we are taking uh, beta testers. So if you would like to stream sports, um, contact us. We give you access to our streaming platform. 
as long as you provide viable feedback for our platform and our scoreboard so we can continue to improve things. This has been another tutorial. My name is Matt. Uh, you can reach us at support at veercast.com. We do have an entire support website with an entire knowledge base. If you have any questions on how to do anything within the platform, just contact us, visit this knowledge base. You'll be up and streaming in minutes. Thanks a lot.